Why did the PS3 supercomputer exist? A question that might tickle the curiosity of many. You see, the PlayStation 3 was not just an entertainment hub for gamers, it was also an unexpected supercomputer. The PS3 was armed with a revolutionary piece of hardware called the cell processor. This powerful technology, a brainchild of Sony, Toshiba, and IBM, was a multi-core processor that could perform multiple tasks simultaneously. It was like having several mini computers working together in harmony, all inside your gaming console. This made the PS3 a potent computing device, capable of calculations that went far beyond rendering video game graphics. From scientific research to complex data processing, the PS3's capabilities were vast and versatile, making it a contender in the world of supercomputing. It's quite fascinating to think of a gaming console as a supercomputing powerhouse, isn't it? The journey of the PS3 from a gaming console to a supercomputer wasn't a random occurrence. It was the United States Air Force that saw the potential in Sony's gaming console. They realized the PS3's cell processor had the capability to crunch massive amounts of data, making it a perfect fit for their high-performance computing needs. Furthermore, the cost effectiveness of the PS3 compared to traditional supercomputers made it an attractive option. To create this supercomputer, the Air Force assembled a cluster of 1,760 PS3s. It was no small feat, requiring careful planning and coordination. Each console was networked together, transforming individual gaming units into a cohesive, powerful computing machine. This innovative approach allowed the Air Force to harness the power of a supercomputer at a fraction of the usual cost. And that's how the PS3 supercomputer came into existence. But why go through all that trouble to create a supercomputer from PS3s, you might ask? Well, the answer lies in the unique capabilities of the PS3's cell processor. This powerhouse of a processor was capable of performing high-speed computations that were invaluable for research and simulations. The United States Air Force saw this potential and put it to good use. They assembled a cluster of 1,760 PS3s, creating a supercomputer that was not only powerful but also cost-effective. This endeavor was more than just a technical achievement. It was a demonstration of how affordable supercomputing could be achieved. It proved that you didn't need to break the bank to gain access to high-performance computing. It was a milestone that opened the door for many more innovations in the realm of affordable supercomputing. So next time you play a game on a console, remember, you might just be holding a potential supercomputer in your hands.